morning from the Grampians. researching the Grampians it is actually quite overwhelming there is so much to do here we're only spending two days so we've done a bit of research and found what we think look like some of the best things to do so hopefully this helps you out if you're also coming here we're starting with the balconies it's a 1k walk about half an hour loop We've reached the actual balcony which is there you can see there so they've actually closed that part of the track off and people come up and sit on these parts but apparently there's been quite a few rescues over the years that makes sense that they've closed that down Should we go? well the balconies is definitely worth it it's so pretty up there next we are off to Mackenzie Falls this one looks really really cool as well she's got so many cool places to see we're in a good mood because it's sunny it's dry it's quite warm it's just gonna be a bloody great day okay well that's so crazy we just got back to the car and on our way back to the car we passed about 10 people one really big group yeah. as well and then we've just come back to the car park and there's easily about 20 other people here so we were so lucky to get that to ourselves well, the car park's pretty much full look oh my god get here early if you can i mean i can't guarantee that you'll have it to yourself but not even that early no we it weren't like it was like 10 o'clock yeah. not that early so no, not even that like we're past 10 yeah. yeah definitely recommend coming here a little bit earlier in the day if you can So unlike some of the other waterfalls that we've been to on this trip so far, like the Blue Mountains and things like that, there's absolutely no swimming here. It's prohibited. Um, the strong currents, the lack of reception, just the overall danger means you can't do it. Um, but that's okay. I wouldn't have gone in anyway. It's more George. That's sad boy. Sad boy. It says that it's 260 very strenuous steps is what it says on the sign. So bring lots of water. Some snacks, sunscreen, things like that, and you'll be golden. We've just passed people who have said there's another secret little waterfall down the end called Fish Falls. So that's what we're checking out. We made it! Again, super dangerous, so no swimming. Cheers. We made it! That was really fun. It was fun. Would you recommend Hot. that? Yes. We've seen two of the best waterfalls in Victoria. Beauchamp. <laughs> oh, Beauchamp Falls and this. Beauchamp and Mackenzie. Wow. Both are definite must-sees. One on the Great Ocean Road and one on the Grampians. Like, does it get any better than that? Seriously. I don't see this. These are our favourite coffees that we get from, like, the Servo. But George happened to find them in the supermarket. Didn't you? Yep. Four for nine bucks. So they are so cold right now. After that hike, coming back to this, oh, so good. We also found these crepes pre-packaged at the supermarket. Did we find them? You found them. Mm. <laughs> Chocolate filled. Yum. Crepe and a coffee. What better way to finish a hike? Just go slow, babe. Go slow, go slow, go slow. Go really slow, babe. This one's coming out. Just saw wow. <laughs> saw a mama emu and her babies. That's so cool. <laughs> this Grampians has been so cool. So in the past 24 hours, we've seen an echidna, we've seen wallabies, we've seen kangaroos, and we've seen emus with their babies. Wow, that was like four or five babies. That was so cool. That was amazing. This so cute. Wow. wow. <laughs> we've come.
come to our next stop. This looks pretty spectacular. This lookout is definitely worth it. Yeah. We have got it on such a good day as well. There's just visibility as far as the eye can see. We're so lucky. We're now coming back to where we stayed last night and this is definitely one of our favorite free camps so far. It's just so quiet. It's absolutely massive. There are so many places to camp and it was us and one other person here last night. So far, Victoria has just had easily the best free camping we've seen. It's just unreal. Look at this. Very tight squeeze. Tight. You're fine this side. As you would have seen from that footage, we are on an incredible hike this morning. We start in the Grand Canyon, but the staircase that goes further into the Grand Canyon is closed. You can see up there. <laughs> so we're just doing this part and then we're going to head back and we're going to do a part of the track called the Pinnacle. And there's panoramic views over the Grand Canyon, so I'm very excited for that. Apparently it's quite steep, so we've got good walking shoes, we've got snacks, lots of water, all the essentials ready to crack on. Obviously, I had to go in now. It was actually quite cool in here. Ow. You made this look a lot more graceful than I am. Where? 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 Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> it's been like quite steep in some parts, but otherwise, just nice. Medium level fitness, I reckon you can get this done. It's getting quite sunny now as well, it's getting hot. And there's not a whole lot of shade, so if you are doing this, especially in the sun, shine, bring lots of sunscreen. A little stop along the way called Bridal Veil vale Falls. I mean, it's not much of a fall, but it's still cute. <laughs> this spot is called Silent Street. Wow, this is really, really cool. It's so silent. headed back down to the car park the same way we came up it's there and back track that was really cool though really really beautiful views at the top loved it loved it recommend i always like an out and back trail like this because you see it from a different perspective than you did going up like seeing the mountains on the way down this time it was really nice so far the grampians has reminded me quite a lot of the Blue Mountains and if you haven't seen my first episode of The Lap that is where we actually went to the Blue Mountains and did one of our favorite hikes to date which was Fortress Ridge. I'll link the video here so you can have a look if you're interested. It was just beautiful but the Grampians is, is up there. The Blue Mountains is still probably my favorite but the Grampians have been very very good. Made it back to the car. We've just driven back to Walls Gap to have a little coffee. We also went to the bakery and got some bakery treats. A vanilla slice and a jam donut. Yum. 
Cheers. Delicious. Let's have a look at this vanilla slice. Now ignore the bites out of it. <laughs> I've already had some. Yum. So that's where I wrap up the episode. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Next, we are headed back to the coast. We're heading towards South Australia. So make sure you subscribe not to miss out and we'll see you next time.